bedding. Been a long time coming. Let's touch this one. So, most guys are talking short action 700, well, blah, blah, blah. Premise is all the same. You know, recoil lugs vary in their style. 700's got a sandwich lug, lug recess. So the main thing is you want to catch the fucking lug. That's what keeps the fucking action dancing to and fro under recoil. This is the MDT LSS. Had a pig fucker kung fu lug in it. Hogged it out. Made room for him. Had a little bit of light dab bit on him. I snaked it out for this. So this is an OEM lug. Factory 700 lug. I got piles of them. Anyhow, when you're looking at a lug, you want to make sure you've got draft angle. So way before you think about bedding anything or laying anything up, A, you want to make sure your lug is indexed square in relation to the guard screws and the trigger. If it's cocked, when you go to fucking bed it up, you just form a mechanical lock. You're out of fucking moves. You're broke down. So just cursory glance. Make sure everything's straight. That the lug is indexed 6 o'clock and there's some draft for the sides. If not, you're done. And this little titty titty bang bang hole that's going to fill with material that's going to form a mechanical fucking lock so you can grease him full whatever you want to do but just give shit a little bit of a thunk to keep yourself from having to go million vanilla with a baseball bat to get yourself out of jail so this lug square fuck masking anything you want a tight lug and then always want to release way more metal than anticipated so on a typical chassis, your height, your ride height in relation to your receiver in the stock is good. So you want to put it in there, test fit it. And what I'm doing, I'm pushing down, and I can't fucking rock it to and fro because there's no high side. If your lug's bottoming out, you got to shorten your lug or deepen your mortise, however you want to do it. It's the same fucking thing. And then if the fore is high or the aft is high in relation to where the guard screws make, address that. So when in doubt, hog it out bedded up square so you know this 82 trick move shit people get hung up on and millionth inch dial indicators and blah blah this you know you could have a herd of fucking gregorian monks in a fucking cave in iceland whittling you fucking ice cubes for seventeen thousand dollars a pop me i'll take an ice tray fill the motherfucker full of water poke it in the freezer and do it that way that's the premise with bedding so you want a big void in your stock you want a hole bigger than your fucking shit and then you're simply going to cast your shit into your big hole. So you've got an exact same size hole. So to keep from banging up pretty shit, I'm a fan of tape. Imagine that. Like the big 3M fucking Mexican fucking masking tape. I want to go to the fucking stock line like that. Both sides to and fro way past where I'm going to be. If I get laying shit up, it's going to goof. It's going to overrun. Big fucking deal. And actually, I can grease this in conjunction with. So after it starts setting up, kind of like toothpaste, I can take a toothpick. If I full length bed or whatever, I go. That shit will trim off. Off comes your tape. Fucking cleanup is done before you even fucking start. Imperative. You want to release way, way more metal than you think. Tough to beat one shot. Something aerosol slickery. Fucking everything. Big fucking deal. I like to shoot the chamber, well, not so much the chamber, but the locking lug recesses a little bit. Typically, there's enough goop in there, nothing will adhere. But if you weigh guess poorly, volumetrically, in regards to your bedding compound, and shit flows where you really don't want it, don't have a freak out, the shit's not going to stick anyways. Worst thing happens, you reach in there with a fucking pencil or something, it'll come flying out. So, spray, 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 way past the radius of the top of the barrel way more you want the gas van hole spray 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 you release you can't release too much you sure it's fucking release not enough got it and then i always always want to grease my fastener screws i don't always trust an aerosol release for these so even if i'm bedding way away from here like i'm just going to dab bed the lug a smidge still i want to grease these threads and when i make this up there's zero chance that I can lock a fucking thread into a receiver. Impossible. So start by mitigating shit. So to lay up a fucking lug, I'm just going to mix a little bit of shit. I'm going to spoon it, knife it, goop it, pour it, whatever you want to call it, into the lug recess. And I want more in there. I want it to flow and fill that void. And then if you pop it loose and there's an air bubble gap or whatever, who gives a fuck? You, you've seized the footprint of the lug. And that's the main thing. So don't get caught up in, oh, you know, we don't never sit around with a hundred rifles pulling shit apart and say, oh, this bedding's pretty. Oh, that one's got, you know, has no bearing. Oh, always shoot results. 
So don't don't fret a lot of shit that you hear about. That's it in a nutshell. <laughs>